Hi friends, I am M.A. Mohamad Sugel. I am going to explain you about chemical sensors. Chemical sensors. A chemical sensor is a device which transmits chemical information from a chemical reaction. The chemical information may be of composition, the analyte present in the solution, com concentration or its chemical activity. The chemical information mentioned above may originate from a chemical reaction, from an analyte, from physical property of the system. They can be have different applications. The applications may be in uh, home appliances or in chemical industries. The chemical sensors usually contain of two basic components. They are a chemical recognition system known as a receptor and a physicochemical transducer. The transducer is used to send the signals from a sensor. I am going to explain you about the block diagram of a chemical sensor. A chemical sensor has a sample that is the test sample. Test sample is given to a receptor which checks the composition etc of the chemical reaction. Then the receptor is connected with the transducer. The transducer collects the information from the receptor and sends it to a signal amplifier. The amplifier is uh, amplifies the signal from the transducer and sends it as the output signal. The, prim uh, the primary signals may be of electrochemical, optical, mass, thermal. The secondary signal may be of electrical. The receptor. The receptor is a uh, reaction, uh, is a layer which interacts with the chemical reaction. It, cap it uh, acts as a catalyst and uh, speed up the chemical reaction. The receptor layer is secondary to the transducer. It sends a signal from to the transducer for the process. A receptor Mm. A receptor fo follows absorption, ion exchange and liquid extraction. Nowadays, transducer is used to send the signals from the receptor and uh, changes into an electrical signal. The transducer amplifies the signals and sends to as an output. The output may be of voltage etc. I am going to explain you about the general example of a chemical sensor. The, uh, I am going to explain you with an example of dielectric capacitor. In a dielectric capacitor, there are two plates, one uh, separated by a distance d. The area of the plates is considered as A and the dielectric may be is present. Consider a dielectric of permeability F0 naught and the primary of the air is epsilon r. Now, we can uh, according to capacitance c is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r a by d. By changing the area of the capacitor plate, we can change the solid. Now, the dielectric place is of an absorbable medium which absorbs certain ion from the chemical solutions. Now, then the, after observing the dielectric expansion size, therefore the distance between the chemical plates increases, therefore the capacitance changes. According to this, we can um, find the uh, chemical concentration of the solution. There are different types of chemical sensors. They are optical, electrochemical, electrical, mass sensitive, magnetic, thermometric and other radiating data. I am going to explain you about optical sensor. In an optical sensor, there are emitters and detectors. The emitter sends a light to the optical sensor. The light rays falls on the analyte. Now, the, the light rays may be reflected and refracted. The reflected and refracted lights are gained by the detector. Now, the detector receives a reflected and refracted rights and according to their intensity, the chemical compound present is understandable. The, op the optical sensor operation can be explained by beer lambert's law. According to beer lambert's law, A is equal to epsilon naught Bm, where epsilon naught is the absorption coefficient of the medium. B is the path length and M is the concentration. A is equal to log of P naught by P. P naught is the incident light ray and P is the transmitter light. Transmitter light. And then electrochemical sensor. Electrochemical sensor is 
operated by reacting with gas molecules of interest and producing an electric signal proportional to their compound present. The electrochemical sensor consists of a sensing module and a counter electrode separated by a thin layer of electrolyte. Now there are two plates, two plates and the center is filled by electrolyte. The one plate is cathode and another is ion. Now an external membrane is introduced in the solution. Now the membrane absorbs certain ions from the solution. Therefore, the chemical property of the solution is changed. Now, the cell EMF is also changed. According to the change in EMF, the chemical composition present is under standard. Then, thermometric sensor. A thermometric sensor is a group of sensors that measures the heat generated in the chemical reaction and senses its amount of chemical heat generated and it shows the compound present in it. There are three types of heat sensing methods. The one is sensing the temperature changes in the chemical reaction due to an external component. Next is used for sensing flammable gases present in air. Next measuring the thermal conductivity of air due to the presence of certain gases. The thermometric sensor consists of a thermistor. The thermistor is a highly sensible uh, compound used for measuring the heat change. The thermo thermometric sensor is coated with an external enzyme over a thermistor. There are two electrical beads, a protective glass envelope and a stint metal. The enzyme layer is present between the protective layer. It is used for protection. The mass sensitive sensor. The mass sensitive sensor is used to detect the changes due to the absorption of certain chemical compound. The masses involved in absorption are very minute. Therefore, most of them, mostly this method is not preferred. The mass sensor are also called as gravimetric sensors. In particular sensor, it is not possible to change, measure the changes in certain masses and therefore indirect method must be used. Mass sensitive sensor. The most common analyte is water vapor. The most mass sensitive sensor also comes under humidity sensor. It is made by coating. The humidity sensor is made by coating a thin layer of hygroscopic material on a crystal. The, the hygroscopic material may be polymer, gelatin, silica or fluorex. The moisture is removed after sensing by heat. The, therefore, this sensor is reusable for particular period of time. And is of capacitive. There are two types of humidity sensor. One is capacitive and another is resistive. In capacitive, the porous electrolyte uh, pl plates are used as anode and cathode. Inside, in between this, both of this, and dielectric material is placed. The dielectric material is used as polymers and substrate is present as glass. Now, the dielectric medium absorbs the chemical compound and it increases in size. Therefore, the dielectric, the distance between the two plates increases. Therefore, the capacitance differs and we can measure the change in capacitance and we can measure the compound present in it. And the next one is of resistive type. In resistive type, hygroscopic material is present at the top. The platinum electrode is present in the center and then at last a substrate is present. Now, the pla uh, uh, platinum electrodes absorb certain chemical compounds. Therefore, the resistivity of the platinum material varies. Therefore, by the change in resistance, we can measure the, that's all. Thank you. One. There are different uses and applications of chemical sensor. The uses of chemical sensor is, we can detect the food quality by sensing the level of chemicals in the food substances. We can also detect we can also detect the presence of harmful gases in the atmosphere. Then, 
the chemical sensor are useful to test the quality of substance identifying the composition concentration and etc of the chemical reaction the applications are the chemical sensor finds application in the chemical industries food maintaining industries and other home appliances now i am going to summarize you about the video in this video we have shown about the general what is the meant by general basic chemical sensor the basic components present in the chemical sensor are receptor transducer and an amplifier for amplifying the output signal there are different types of chemical sensor we have seen optical electrochemical mass sensitive magnetic and thermometric sensors the other radiation sensors are the sensors that observes the alpha beta and gamma radiation present and its level that's all thank you